In the last series, I declared that if you are a shooter fan, then Rainbow Six Vegas is worth it. But with very similar game mechanics and the same setting, is it worth visiting Sin City for a second time? Let's find out as I attempt to answer the question, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, is it worth it? <laughs> The first thing you're likely to notice when playing Rainbow Six Vegas 2 is how similar it is to its prequel. The visuals have had little to no improvements and the gameplay has seen few upgrades. Vegas 1 was a very good game though, so not changing what wasn't broken might not have been an entirely bad design decision. Rainbow Six Vegas 2 is a first person shooter with a strong emphasis on tactical gameplay and well thought out strategies. Taking cover, ordering your squad mates into positions and accurate shooting is the most effective and satisfying way to play Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Cool gadgets such as the snake cam make a welcome return and breaching and clearing rooms is as fun as it was in Vegas 1. Almost all the gameplay mechanics are carried directly across from the original and many of the game's assets, sound effects and music are identical. This results in the single player feeling more like the next chapter in the same campaign rather than a step forward for the franchise. The one big change to the gameplay is the addition of the ability to sprint. This allows you to dart quickly from cover to cover, although some hardcore fans didn't like how it changed the gameplay. The other big addition is the perpetual unlock system. All of the equipment you unlock in one mode carries across to all of the others. It's nice to see unlocks pop up on screen to show that you're always working towards something, but by the end of the campaign I'd almost unlocked all of the best equipment already. You think you can catch Alvarez? Ha! He makes a living running circles around people like you! Should we tell Alvarez that his little brother ratted him out? Who does? Fucking the lawyer! I had no choice, he was going for the gun. The plot manages to keep the gameplay moving forward and ties up all of the loose ends from the first game. But the bland characters and predictable moments ensure that you're unlikely to ever feel truly engaged in the story. The sometimes poor AI and mediocre story holds the single player back from being anything above average. Luckily, the online multiplayer is a much tighter experience. Online games play at a much faster pace than the single player, but good teamwork and accurate shooting are key for victory. The guns and equipment are almost identical to the original, but the new maps and game modes add enough to keep old fans interested. The game is still a blast to play online, especially if you have a group of friends to communicate with. At the time of making this video, the online multiplayer still has an active community, although it was difficult to find games on the less popular maps and game modes. The multiplayer does have a few problems though. The spawning system sometimes spawns you in the sight of enemy players, and lag is an occasional and frustrating issue. There is also a very steep learning curve for your first few matches, because many of the people still playing are very experienced with the game. Rainbow Six Vegas 2 can also be played cooperatively. The campaign co-op is improved over Vegas 1, but the second player can sometimes feel like they're just tagging along because they can't activate anything or give orders to the other squad members. Make each one count. Terrorist Hunt also makes a return and is still the most enjoyable way to play Rainbow Six cooperatively. It sees up to four players attempting to eliminate a certain number of terrorists on the game's multiplayer maps. Rainbow Six Vegas 2 may be a little too similar to its predecessor, but the majority of changes help to make the game an overall better experience. If you only want to buy one Rainbow Six Vegas game, then this is the one to get. And for that reason, Rainbow Six Vegas 2 oh, no, is late. worth it. This is all so surreal, isn't it? I never thought it could go this far. It's over now.